Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl, Jakenya Lawrence of the Fox Enterprises. Guys, I want to talk to you real quick about follow-up. If you are in business, that means any type of business, whether it's brick and mortar, network marketing, direct sales, uh, online sales, whatever the case may be, whatever you classify yourself as doing business as, follow-up is important. There is fortune in the follow-up. When you follow up with people, you have no idea what type of business, first of all, they're going to bring to your, uh, your, your business. You don't know how many people, you don't know how many people they're going to bring to your business. So if you're in the business of making money, which most people who are in business, that's not a nonprofit are in it to make some money. Okay. Um, if you're in business to make money, then you want to make sure that you're following up with as many people as possible in a timely fashion. Um, depending upon what your business is, 24 to 72 hours is what you need to follow up. Um, if you have contacted someone about joining your business per se, and they've told you that, you know, now is not a good time, whatever, whatever. And you've told them that you're going to call them in a week or you told them I'll call you in a couple of months. Make sure you follow up with those people because at the time that you contacted them, it may not have been a great time, but if you miss the opportunity to follow up later, you may miss that person becoming a part of your industry um, or a part of your business, should I say. Um, if you have someone who called you for a service that you provide and you're into making money and you're into servicing other people, please follow up with them, especially if someone recommended them to you, because it not only looks bad to the person who recommended them to you if you're not returning a phone call, but you lose business in the process. Because what happens is because that person never got a call back when someone else asks, who do they go to for such and such, such and such? If you didn't call back, your name is not going to be mentioned because they're going to say, hey, she never called me back or he never called me back. So, guys, that's my lesson for today. There is fortune in the follow up. If you hate talking on the phone, send a text message. A lot of people will text. Send a text message and see if that's OK that they text. If they want you to give them a call, go ahead, bite the bullet, give them a call and get get that call, phone call over with. OK. I just went through a similar situation in a couple of different things where I had one person who refused to return my phone call after three attempts in three different days. And I just chose to find someone else. That person I called and left a message. They didn't even listen to the message. They called the number that they missed back, got the information that I needed, told me what I needed is on their way to service me. And they have now gotten my business. So now it's up to the person that's on their way to assist me with what I needed to keep my business. So guys, like I said before, there's fortune in the follow-up. Please follow up with your people. With that being said, y'all have a great day.